Okay, there we go. Alright, hello guys, this is Blake again, and this time we're going to run through the Blood of the Dead Easter Egg this time, because this has been requested by someone from the last video, so hopefully I did you justice. Um, we're going to just stick with all greens. Um, now, if you want to get this particular calling card here, you cannot buy perks at all whatsoever. You have to beat the game from start to finish. Can't buy any perks at all. Now, for your... Um, the special weapon, it really doesn't matter what you use. I personally like to use the Ragnarok. Um, the Strife, you do want to have the Stiletto Knife attached to it, which we're going to go into detail later. Your equipment really doesn't matter. Now let's talk about your elixirs. After taste is really good. You can pick yourself up. If you go down, keep your perks simple. Anywhere but here, teleport to some random location so you can use it if you get trapped. Equipment, refills up your equipment slot. And then obviously, Temporal Gift makes power-ups last long. Then you have time slip. You necessarily don't need this, but I like to use it. Um, mule kick, I like to use, but you necessarily don't have to use it. Dying wish, I will highly recommend you use. And then you want to have winter's whale as your modifier. And we're gonna go into details for why that is really good to use. So with that being said, let's go straight into it. Was stumbling around in total darkness part of plan. You give us the fire, we'll give them hell. Do not speak so lightly of hell. Easy tech. I didn't give us the fire. All right. Ah, what twisted game is the German playing now? Perhaps all right, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to knife all, but you want to save one. Because we're literally going to open up two switches literally at the same time. So let's just go ahead. Um. Another corner, an anxious Russian. All right, so now we got that done. Um, now you want to, we're gonna keep that one alive. So you want to open up this door first, obviously, to kind of get more into the uh, further areas. And then this particular door here, you want to open. So that way uh, we can activate the first power switch, which is going to be in this first powerhouse right back here. Power done. Now we can go about getting ourselves. So now that we got that going. Now, um, here's the catwalk. We have to run up and just knife everything. This is why I was mentioned that having a uh, knife with a stiletto knife attached to it. It makes it a lot easier to kind of make your way up here. All right, we're going to keep that zombie, that walking one. You want to be careful with that. You don't want to end around too fast. There's the warden. Shoot him up a little bit. And now we're going to make our way down even further. Nope. What are your specialists? Like Alright, we'll keep that zombie over there. I don't want to end the round too fast. There's still some things we do. Here's your first shield part. So now that we got the first shield part, we can make our way to the prison. Now there's going to be three locations for where you can find the next shield part. The first location is going to be right here at that box, but it's not there. So we can keep moving. Let's make our way across. The second location can be spotted right down here at that box, but it's not there, so we can keep moving. And then there's gonna be one more location that we can go ahead and pick up, which is gonna be right here. This feels like something I should not be So touching. now that we got that, there's gonna be one more thing that we need, there's gonna be one more shield that we need to go ahead and pick up. So let's head all the way downstairs. Um, I like to kind of count. So this is the first wall. This is the second. This is the third. It could be spotted either right there, but it's not there. So we definitely don't have to worry about that. Use that key, open that up. Now the second location is gonna be way down here at this door. 
So that's the second location. And then the third location is going to be right here. Door used to lock men inside. So now that we got now that done, let's go ahead out. and activate the second power, which is going to be a few switches. Either that one, that one, or that one. So the water is going to come in. Again, you, do, you don't want to end the round. Build some distance. Okay, I'll take a full power any day. So now that we got that full power going, or now that we got our all of our shield parts going, before you end the round, you do want to get yourself a shield because by the time you end the round, it's going to be a dog round, and you can literally use that round to get yourself a lot of spirit blast. Now, keep in mind, whenever you're doing this Easter egg. You're gonna need like a lot of spirit blasts, so you want to have a, a um, like a full shield at almost all times. Now, if you're doing this with multiple people, you will need an upgraded shield. As long as one person is doing it, like getting the upgraded shield, you'll be okay. But for the sake of solo guides, you definitely wanna kind of keep the upgraded shield with you. Craft the shield. Um, the best way, uh, the best area to put the upgraded shield or to put the shield is um, on that second on that uh, cell block, which I like to do. Let me get through there real quick to kind of give myself some extra points. We can end around. So now that we got that done. As I said, there's going to be a dog round, and then the next round, you, we can actually begin working on the next step. So pull out your shield, pull the trigger button, and you know, obviously, you'll get some uh, zombie souls collected. Now, the reason why I'm going back to spawn, because we have to feed the dogs of Alcatraz, and so the first location is going to be, the first location is literally going to be a spawn. So I'd rather, you know, get this one out of the way. There you are. Too many teeth! Far too many teeth to be snapping at Nikolai! That dog! I teach you who is that. Alright. So by the end of this, you should have two shields at the bottom right. So now that we got those shields out of um, those shield blasts out of the way, we can move on to the next step. So the next step is obviously you have to feed the dogs of Alcatraz to get the Hell's Retriever or AKA the Tomahawk. The first location is going to be here at spawn. And I apologize and I'm going to say this a lot of times throughout this guide, but sorry if I don't create the videos fast enough. Like how um, Codename Pizza does, I give a big shout out to him because his guys of doing this solo helped me mostly. It's just that for me personally, I kind of tweak it up a bit. So there's that first dog location. You want to make sure that the uh, uh, that the uh, dog finish chewing on the course before you feed it another one. So that's one. There's two. It takes about six corpses to feed one. Every time is just dissatisfied. Okay. All right, that's the third. You don't want to get cornered. Fourth. Furry comrade is hungry for help. Fifth. We got one more left. So let's see if that is going to go in. Dogs want to disappear. So now we got one done. We got about Hope three more, uh, two more dogs to go. I suppose he was not hungry anymore. So we're going to head our way oh, all the way over to the second cell horses. block where, where your shield is and we'll get started on that. And then there's going to be one more shield. Oh, hold on. You want to be kind of be careful with this catwalk here because you can get trapped very easily. And for me, I like, like, even though doing high rounds can be fun, it can be boring at times. And if you try to do the Easter egg 
when you're a high rounds, even though you can, it can be kind of a pain to like finish it. So the second location is going to be right up the stairs here or right up whatever that is. And here's the second location right here. So we're going to get a few kills here, feed that dog, and then we got one more left to go. So let's wait for some zombies to come in. That's one. I wonder if they are just as ugly coming out the other side. Two. And again, sorry if I'm kind of doing real slow on this. Because, um, as I probably explained in the last video or whatnot, I necessarily don't have the, um, the equipment to edit and cut out and stuff like that. But eventually, when I do get the equipment, if I have time, I will make these a lot faster and simpler. Because, let's be honest, who has the patience? Alright, um, honestly, I lost count on how many zombies I fed. Alright, I think that is the last one, I think. All right, so now there's going to be one more location Looks that we need like to go ahead and do. Is over. I imagine he will so the last soon. location is going to be right outside. This right. Is why oh, is wait, broken. hold up. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. I forgot I picked up that. I hit wood faster than woodpecker. The last location is going to be right here. And having a stiletto knife, uh, well, the strife with the stiletto knife, uh, but pack a punch to it, well, not a pack a punch, uh, with the knife attached to it, it does, like, speed up the process of killing zombies. So, like, instead of you shooting them, you can just knife them, and it builds a lot more points that way. Alright, that's number one. Two. No matter how many times I see Wolfie, every time he's just dissatisfied. Three. We got about um, a couple more, and then we'll be good. Hello, my rotten friend. Time to be four. No, I have a good knife one. Five. And there's a reason why I, um, like, the first big thing that you want to do is definitely get your tomahawk first. Ooh, no, I am not about to get that nuke. So the dog disappeared. So let's kill about maybe... Uh, I'll keep these three for now. Because you don't want to end the round yet. But hold on. Where are you, Borden? But Hiding behind what you want to nice do next curtains, is eh? is that you want to pull out your shield. Ooh, shield hold on. You want to pull out your shield. Look at these three columns: six, two, two. That is the order that you want to remember this in. Well, at least that what I have in my game. So you have to look at the closest to you to the furthest. So we're gonna go get our tomahawk. Wait. Ah! What? <laughs> And just dead. hold the interaction button, pick up your tomahawk, she and now we gotta work our way to our docks. What do I do with That's what hatchet. we're gonna do next. Um, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. Hold on. You know what? While we're doing this, we're gonna um get the um the free map again. That's what we can do in the process while we're here. So there's going to be three locations of where you can get this Mad Mag uh Not three, five locations of where you have to throw your tomahawk at. The first location is going to be on the roof to which I am where I am heading right now. Hold on. Don't want to, you know, end the round. The first location, no I like to kind of have it ready. We will see about that. Right there. Roof side. 
One location down, four more to go. So let's head all the way to spawn since that's where we're gonna be heading at anyways. Um, and I might, yeah, as I said, I apologize if, um, if this is taking too long because I know some of you have low patience and trust me, I get it, I do too, but this is what I could work with. A lot of people were suggesting, you know, you should do your own guide, stuff like that and move on. Second location is at that toilet where I just kind of shot at. When I kind of did. And the reason why I'm keeping these zombies alive is so that way I can get ready to do the upgraded magma gat. That's kind of the reason why I'm keeping these guys alive for now. So there's two locations down, three more to go. The third location is literally going to be at the door of spawn. So that's where we're going to head to. And I should also try and I also like to make a note that you want to kind of use your specialist as much as you can. There's the third location. But the reason why, oh, hold on. yeah, do not feel like getting trapped. But anyways, you want to kind of use your specialist as much as you can to get it to level two. So that way you can up, um, build the free monkey bombs. But we'll get into that later. Now, if you're doing this with multiple people and you know you want to kind of get the process done and out of the way, what I highly recommend. If you're doing this with people is have one person run temporal gift. And then one person run fire cells. And then make sure everyone gets to a box, spam it, and get monkey bombs. That is like the biggest thing that you want to kind of focus on if you're doing this with multiple people. If you want to kind of take the faster take the faster route and um, get this Easter egg done. Because as far as I know, this is one of the longest Easter eggs I've ever done. Um, Tiger of the Totem is definitely up there. Speaking of up there, there's a third location, as I mentioned. So there's two locations, uh, there's four locations down. We got one more left. Let's get that guy out of the way. So um, that number that I mentioned before that you look at the columns, this is where your shield, your first shield blast is going to come into play. So let's go ahead, get that shield blast going, and then we can move on from there. Because the Tomahawk part will not work unless you do this um, until you knock down the um, the elevator first. Pull out your shield, shield blast it, and then put a number, put the code in, which you saw earlier. Once it blinks like that, you got it. So now that that's done, we can go ahead now and head to the docks. So now, Here's the fifth location, ah, right here. Only tempted to swim for it. Water cannot be cold. Shield blast cold. that. The net is going to swing around for a little bit. Once it stops, throw your health retriever at it. You'll be able to pick up your what scoop. What do I do with this? Eat soup? Wait, is there soup? So now that we got that done, what we can do next is we can go and build the magma gat, which is indeed really important for this Easter egg. Uh, well, it's not really important, but it does kind of help you out quite wonders because it kind of works like monkey bombs if you shoot at the ground. It's really good if you um, do some of the uh, some of the steps as we dive into it later on so i'm gonna ignore these guys for now the reason why i want to keep up and the reason why i'm not killing anything right now because i'm gonna need as much zombies as i possibly can for this next bit so here's that free magma get that i was telling um, blunder get that i was telling you about so now we can head inside this house and begin the next process but first you want to knife this wallpaper make sure you see those little scratch marks because that is the secret room Place the magma get in there. So I'm gonna build up as um. Let's go ahead and try to build up some of these as much as I can. 
It may take you a round or two, but it's okay. Alright. Alright. So, by the time all the three skulls are lit up, we can move on to the next bit. And just rule of thumb, make sure that um, if you're doing this part, you can't leave, like, don't leave the house. And make sure that the zombies come in with you. You want to be careful? Get rid of this guy. Let's not, let's not take that risk. You appear out of nowhere. Now hide behind This is no All right. So, that's done. Old square here. And now you want to pick up this blundergat, and we have to make our we have to basically run all the way across. So here's the first barrel. Now we can run and do the next barrel and keep going forward. So this is the direction you definitely want to take. Here's the next barrel. You don't have to shoot at it or anything. You just want to make sure that your blundergat or magma suitably magma gat is kind of touching that barrel. So we're gonna hit this door open right here real quick. Hit that one. And pack in the box is in the first powerhouse, so that's good. So that way the warden won't be able to, you know, knock it down. So here's that here's that one. We're gonna keep heading over, keep heading over. No problem, no biggie. And if you wanna kinda build up a lot of points between now and round maybe 13, just knife them all. If you want to kind of build up a lot of points so once you get that last one done you want to come to this oven hold that, square that was right thing, I think. so we're gonna wait for that to cook a little bit you and the warden is going to spawn in he's going to automatically spawn in so we're not gonna kill um, the last zombie we're not going to the reason why is because uh, we need to get our upgraded shields. And this guy takes a little bit of time to die. There must be some way Boom. to kill Warden so that he stays killed. So now that we got that done, um, what you want to do is is that you want to hit the box but make sure that you knife that uh, wallpaper because if you didn't get the spoon and you get the monkey bombs, then you're kind of screwing yourself a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spam this box until I get the lock because uh, it, cause you do need uh, the lock to get the upgraded shield and I'll, and I'll explain momentarily. So let's keep going see what we get. When Jaff needs bulldozer. Are you sure this not coming much bigger size? Hades, you're good, but amount of bullets, especially for angry Russians. So light. I will try not to break my big bare head. Let's see what we get. Nope. Let's keep going. All right, I got one more hit. One more hit. Charge. Key the lock, and then so when the lock stops, throw your key at it, and then the wood, once the warden's lock turns to anger, nice now you got it. Whispers are so, definitely louder. if you don't want to wait for the mystery box to show up, for the um, if you don't want to wait for the mystery box, 
what you can do is is that after you get your specialist up to level two the way i did in my game what you want to do is there's going to be a monkey bomb statue that you can go to interact and you can basically get kills with your specialist weapon level two and now since you have that box moved for some reason i don't know why but fire cells come a little bit more frequently so let's go upstairs at the bit um try to get this monkey bomb statue going and then we can move on from there and a monkey bomb statue is going to be chilling right here all you got to do is just stay in this little area and try to get as much kills as you can so i'm just kind of yeah i'm gonna just let some zombies come in here a little bit all right here they come and just kind of get some kills and you notice that their souls is going into the uh, monkey bomb statue and you want to kind of keep going until you run out you can slam it if you want but I'm not taking that risk alright soon it turns soon it glows like that shoot at it and it's going to disappear Okay. Didn't I just blast you? I All right. Forget. So now that we got that done, now what you can do next is we can actually start working on the bird step. So, in order for you to start the bird step, you need to grab monkey bombs from. Um, you have to grab the free monkey bombs from the uh, from spawn. And I would show you how to get the upgraded spoon or aka the golden spork, but we necessarily don't need it like at all. But if you want to do that, it's a, it's a whole process. You can find it somewhere, but I'm not going to do it on this one because it takes a ridiculous amount of time. And quite frankly, I did promise someone later on that I was going to. I am having well, panic attacks, I already made a promise that I, um, I taught her. Smiling. I taught her how to do nine, but she wants to kind of me kind of supervise. So I want to kind of make sure that I leave some time for that. So the free monkey bombs is going to be right here. Pick those up, and now we can go and summon another warden. That's going to be the game plan. So we gotta go to the uh, to that little number number pad that we had before, and this time we gotta type six six six. And that now the thing with that one is is that it only works once, so we really gotta use it wisely, like really use it wisely. And also, before I forget, for the upgraded shield, multiple people can get it at the same time. It's just that when that key starts to turn, when that key starts to turn, then that's where you throw your Hell's Retriever. Now, and you can you don't even necessarily have to be there near the box. Your teammate can just tell you when to throw it, and then you all have to throw it, throw your um, Hell's Retriever like anywhere simultaneously. And then if you get the attuned shield, then it works. Just throwing that out there. So now we're gonna head all the way downstairs. Activate this uh, activate this warden. You don't want to kill him at all, you just wanna kinda bring him with you. Now unfortunately, you have to trade out your monkey bombs to get the Hell's Retriever again later, but it's okay. There's the, your 666. Good. I like. Now the warden is going to come in. There he is. Now, I like to kind of keep my eye on him because I don't want him to knock down any perk machines. I don't, I because I really don't want to, you know, spend 2 grand just for just to get something that could easily be prevented. So we're gonna take what I like to call Bob here, or Bill. Yep, here he is. And of course he's gonna knock down some of these barriers. I don't, I don't care what you do, just don't knock down my, um, my perk machine. 
So what you want to do is is lure them out here, and then when you get closer, throw the monkey bomb way in the back. Move out his way. He's going to go up, and he's going to knock that bad boy down. Ah, secret chamber. Time to see and there you go. The roof is going to cave apart, and there's a little orb on this table that you have get to pick down, up. Comrades, the roof. So now, what we got to do next is we got to do a little bit of bird hunt. Which will take about four rounds to do. Oh, this is no help here, comrades. This was a man. I think he pulled lever that killed him. Let me open up this door. Because um, that is going to be a bird location. There's two in that little cafeteria I just hit up. So, now what we're going to do next is we um, are going to definitely get started with the next part now this is where this is going to be a part where you're going to need shield blast and you will well yeah it's obviously you're going to need your shield because i just said it in a freaking sentence but at this point forward you want to kind of keep one zombie alive so that way it gives you plenty of time for you to look for the bird now there's going like there's literally over 38 locations and unfortunately i have no time to show you them all Hold square right here. Here's the book. Now, hold square on that, the, or the whatever your interaction budget is. is and now the bird why? is going to steal the book. No. Of course not. Yes, now the trick with this, well, now the Those thing, birds. how you do this step now for the first three birds, was well, matter of fact for all of them, that sound that you heard the bird, um, the sound, that particular sound, you want to listen out for it. So you want to have your mic kind of turned up or have your volume turned up so you can hear it. Now, the reason why I'm not looking um, for no birds at all at this spawn area is because I already know where the first bird is going to be, which I've noticed quite a lot. The first, um, the first bird locations that you can actually find is actually going to be near the cafeteria or near the library. And that's that's kind of a pattern that I picked up from doing this too much. So the first bird location is going to be right here on top of that lever, but it's not but it's not there. So the second location is going to be, as I said before, in the library right here. Oh, wait, hold on. There's one more location I forgot to mention. The third and final location can actually be right by this first power switch. Hello, Boom. bird. Lead me to magic so, book. that bird is gone. I will not shoot you. And I ran out of shield, but it's okay. So now we can go ahead and do a little bit of bird herding again. So as I said before, you really want to listen out for the bird. Like, you don't have to do it everywhere or everywhere. You just only have to do it at a few spots. That's kind of the, that's kind of the thing. So let's go ahead. Um, there is some locations that spawn as well. And some on the catwalk. All right, that was a close one. I thought I was about to die, but good thing I did. And let's get some. Hold up. Oh no! Oh no! You don't. All 
right? I got about two. I have full charge. That's right. no shield blast for one day. Get rid of some of these guys. All right, I'm not gonna get that nuke. So now let's go back to our bird hunting. Um, let's see, where can that other thieving bird be? Now, one other thing that I do want to kind of point out whenever you're doing this is, um, if you can, you necessarily don't have to, but try to get the ray gun Mark One or Mark Two or the Helium. Because uh, later on in the boss fight, it will serve you well. Because you have to pop little bubbles, which we're going to definitely get into later. So it's nowhere near there. It's nowhere near there. So we can possibly check um, up on the roof. It can. It, it may be there. I don't know. I have to definitely kind of do a little bit of hunting. All right. Hmm. Yep, let me, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check on the roof, it's in there, see if it's there. Now, there are some cases where the bird actually spawns in the same location. There are those cases. So let's go, um, okay. And Pack-A-Punch is actually on the roof. You can basically um, activate it at any time. Which is going to be... What this made of woolly mammoth bones? Hold on, is it back here? All you got to do is just shield blast that particular, um, that little machine there. And then pack a punch is there for you. But, as I said before, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Because I really want to get this bird step out of the way. And I've pretty much checked about 60% of all locations. So, if I'm a betting man... It may be at the docks, if I'm a bitten man, Full charge on or at least key. nearby. Okay, no, it's not there, so I'm not going to worry about that. And the reason why I'm not opening up as many doors and such like that is because um, I want to kind of save up as uh, save up enough points as much as I can. Let's see. All right, there's nowhere over here. So it has to be downstairs, it has to be. And before you get frustrated, just know that a lot of people said, like even though this part may be fun at times, this part, this part of the Easter egg is literally, it's the most tedious thing you could possibly do. The most tedious. see where in the heck this bird is yep I heard it there it is shock that bad boy and now we can end the round And this may be a dog round. Yep. So, honestly, I want to kind of rush this process because the dogs are quite annoying. They're quite annoying on this. Yeah, they're quite, they're, they can be a nuisance, so if anything, I'm not going to look at every single location that I come across, I'm going to just listen out for it, because they do bite 
Yikes. Shield key is ready. Okay, it's not there. So let's see where in the heck this uh freaking bird is. Oh, I heard it. So it has yep, I heard it. So it has to be near the um it has to be near the um getting fainter and fainter so it's not up here it has to be I think in the cafeteria I think it has to be no where the hell is this everyone there it is Right in front of me. Yep. Got rid of that guy. I knew it was around here somewhere. I just didn't think on where to look. So now that we got that done, um, oh, I think that's uh, yeah, yep, that's three uh birds that we found. So now that we got that done and out of our hair, we can go ahead and um, activate Pack-a-Punch. Well, you pretty much can activate Pack-a-Punch at any point in the game, but I chose not to because I really wanted to get that step out of the way. So what I'm going to do next is hit Pack-a-Punch. This island is haunted. Wait, what are they doing? Hey, pack a punch. my ghost of Well, well, if it is not captain of all hell, up to die. Let's get rid of this guy, because we do not need him uh, interfering in our bird hunting mission. Probably still watching, but not chasing us with one. Alright. That is the group. Touch the glide and draw back stop. <laughs> All this noise gives me headache. Silky charge. Okay. Let this guy come up. Save your fury. Get rid of this guy. Uh, honestly, this is the first for me where um, a water light spawn in just like this. After I thought I summoned one. And you don't want to end the round because we can actually look for that final bird right now. Alright, I think that's the last one. Is it? Nope. All right, that's the last bird. So now we can actually go into the next bit. Um, there's going to be, hold on, you know what? Let me get my, no, I'll get my tonic bird later. So there's going to be um, the fourth bird, the fourth final bird. Now, unfortunately, the downside of this is that you have to get rid of your monkey bombs. So if you got monkey bombs out of the box, that's actually good because you actually have the free ones that you built earlier. Please stay right side up this time. So let's grab our tomahawk back. And now we don't necessarily have to look at all the bird locations. We just have to look at from the entrance of the stop. warden's office Shoot all the way the down to the docks. Stomach strong as iron. So again, you have to listen out for the uh, you have to listen out for it. Opa! This make Nikolai's heart beat like See? hummingbird. That flash right there that you just saw um, in my gameplay, 
that is where the bird is going to be you can't see it this time so what you have to do is you have to make sure you have your tomahawk and you have to go into zombie blood then you'll be able to see it now if you have a uh, stamina up this works and if you all have time to slip this will also work in in your favor but since um i don't have either i have to be i have to be on my toes about this so for you to get zombie blood you gotta type 872 okay this is going to pop up and now that we got that zombie blood we want to go to where we saw that flash now now the good news is is that um in your game no matter how many times you do this you don't even need time slip well, not time slow. You don't need temporal gift or stamina it up because you actually have plenty of time to get what you need to be. So your tomahawk. There's the book. Got Boom. It. I got the crenario. Fly away, thieving bird. So now that we got that, you definitely want to make sure that you have your um your bladder, your mamba get ready to go, and you also want to make sure that you have your uh um you want to make sure you have your upgraded shield at this point because this, this is the part where you have to do the five challenges of alcatraz and you literally have to use all the shield blast so three seven six we have to go ahead and put that into the machine now whenever a book turns like that that means that you got activate challenges now again there are five uh, challenges of alcatraz that you can do and i'll literally guide you through each one and i'll say well i'll tell you which ones that will work to your benefit and how you can do it because there's multiple ways you can do some of these challenges some of them not so much but there are a few where um having like special types of elixirs if especially if you don't want to kind of if you don't want to challenge, will work in your favor. So we're going to shot this panel. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we have to look for a red beam. There are about four locate, uh, five locations around the map. The first location can be oh, right here. So this one is going. This one is called Morse code. This is literally the easiest. Shot that. Oh, you know what? Just for just because I can. I'm gonna hit the box a little bit. Maybe just because I can. All right. They didn't give me what I want, but it's okay. So there are. Um, so for this part, if you want to kind of speed up the process, you can go to Google and just type up Morse code and go to images. Now there's going to be an image where it's going to have a whole bunch of dots and dashes. Now a couple things with that. Don't pay attention to the letters. Pay attention to the numbers. It's going to be 0 through 9. So that is your first clue. Now your second clue is that the dots is 1 second and the dash is 3 seconds. And if you have Winter's Whale, this will be good for you. So there are two ways you can do this. You can either do trial and error or there's going to be little water boys around the map that you can find. There are and there's going to be blinking as dots or dashes. So the first location is going to be right here. Long one. One long, three shorts. So there is those. So one long, three shorts. And if you put out that image that I've mentioned, hold on. Um, let me uh, let let me pull out my image. Real. Uh, let me pull out my um, pull out the actual images for for myself. So that way, um, uh, give me a second. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Up today, Um. Here, let me freeze them up right here. The second location is going to be right here. Dot, dot, two shorts, three longs. So, two shorts, three longs. Two shorts, three longs. So, that is the second location. And now for the third location, the third location is going to be. Um, right over here it's going to be in this window right here one long 
Two long. Three long. Four long. One short. So, if you have that Morse code sheet that I told you, you would have noticed that we got sequence number nine, six. Wait, it was nine, six, eight. Let me freeze him again. So, nine, six, eight, I believe it was. So, let's, let's look here again. Okay, oh no wait, no, it's nine two. It's nine two six. Nine two six. So those are the sequences. So instead of you adding like the actual dots and dashes, you just have to add up nine two six. Which you're gonna get in your game. It's ten wait, hold on, nine two six. So you're gonna have about seventeen. That is going to be the uh, sequence you have to put into the machine. So Again, there's two ways you can do it. You can either do trial and error or you can um, actually put it in the machine. Now, in our game, we got 926. So 17, so it's going to be one short. Uh, nope. So you notice how the warden laughed? That means the last input that you did was incorrect. So I'm going to freeze the zombie right here. So we want to do a long one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. All right, so it's three long ones. It's three long ones. Which is well again. So one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. So three short, uh, three longs, two shorts. So three longs, two shorts. That's what we have to put in. I'm gonna let my witch's will kind of cool down, so that way I can freeze them one more time. I get it. You're dead. It's not nope. your fault. Three longs, two shorts. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Now for the water boys one that does take a little bit longer to do, but looks good. Most, uh, but right. trial and error is a lot faster. It's way faster. So if you want to do the water boys one, you can. If you don't want to rely on other people, but that's not always a guarantee. Not always. I just like to do it because um, if I have a whole bunch of zombies over me or whatnot, then I can um use though um use those uh water boys to my advantage so you want to be Already in this I room like you want to be in this room and you want to get one kill that's what you want to do so i'm going to use uh get a kill <laughs> so much blood Hold on. i know i should not blast she'll blast him do not believe. Oh crap. All this time Takio was left. You are not the only person here. Hello. You have been waiting a long time for Takio. Do you not come back? No. Come with me. Alright. Alright, there's a fire cell going, but I'm gonna take the risk. Cause I do want um have good that was very close. Uh, Cause I, like I said, I do. I fight on dead, not rough candy store. I just wanna. Yep, there you go, Mark Two. I'm, I'm happy with that. I watch Shit. Next time. I screwed up. I definitely screwed up. That was my bad. I kind of got greedy. But it's okay though. It's okay. It's okay. It false alarm. Maybe. I can always what get I can always get my stuff back. Like? No biggie. So I'm a little bit embarrassed that I went down, but for the Ray Gun Mark II, it was worth it. It was worth it. That normally doesn't happen, but eh. What can you do? 
So the best way to do this part is to kind of come over here to the gondola. And um, what you want to do is, is um, you want to wait here for a little bit until... Yep, I went down once. That's one times too many. Yeah, yeah, very scary. Don't for that. So you want to wait until he comes. Are we all take the gondola down. More or less. I think I have heart attack now. And now that we I got that done, we can go like ahead and um, men let duty to fight evil. escort the zombie or whatever Don't all the way to uh, where the boats are. I will die. And then we'll be good from here. Happen to me. Get that perk. Just because I can. Oh, my skin feels tight. All right, there's a spirit. He's gonna come inside this portal. Have nice trip, then postcard. Nope. Is over. We help him. So now we that we got that, go. we got a few more challenges left. Now one rule of thumb is uh you wanna kinda keep a handful of zombies with you. So here's that orb that he dropped. Pick that up. That's one out of the four challenges left. So now we can go ahead and move on to the next challenge. Um, there, I'm, I'm still a little bit embarrassed that I went down. Happens to the best of us. But nor like normally, I I never go down this early in the round, like ever. And I'm not sure if anyone saw the last video I did, but I didn't go down then. I just got greedy because I do want my monkey bombs back. And you're gonna see why layered down the line of why having monkey bombs is beneficial. Cutting them open does not improve smell. Alright. So now we gotta look at that number, do it again, and see what we get. Pull out your shield, look to the shield window, and one three one. Um, 131 is going to be in the next bit. I'm just going to ignore you because I really don't care for you right now. Um, that Morse code one is legit. I want to say probably the easiest challenge that you can possibly do. But the most fun one may be the banjo. Which we're going to get into later. So, let's head all the way down here. And put the code in again. One, one, two, three, one. Got that bad boy. Nah, that was the right thing, I think. So now that we got that, let me get rid of you. And I'm still a little bit mad that I didn't. I'm still not mad, but I'm a little upset that I get it didn't get monkey bombs, but it's okay. So now for the next lights is gonna be there's one gonna be in here. Actually it is. So pull out your shield, shock this, boom, and now we can move on. Do you wish to play for Nikolai here for so song? this is oh, called the banjo step, to play song and for you, eh? what you want to do Anything is is um if you want to do this with multiple people, helpful. they can be down here as well, but the process will take longer. Hold square on the banjo player. Okay, Pick that up, and song. now. Nikolai There's going to be, um, now you have to go inside these little, uh, these little circles here. You have to keep, keep getting kills. <laughs> so much blood. That's all you have I to do. Nikolai coming through! 
And let's not take that risk of dying. And you want to kind of keep going until you hear the banjo strum. Like that. So now, hold square on the banjo player. And now he's going to go away. And that's the last one. Oh, no. Let me, uh... Thank you real quick. There you go. Here's that ore. Pick that up. And now we can move on to the Hello, next bit. Your ghost friends. They glow green with jealousy. And now what I've gotta do is I gotta go ahead and get my perks back. Cause yeah. But that, but, but, that again, dying for this rig on my two was worth it. Because you can literally get rid of the um, warden extremely fast. Pick this up. And now, unfortunately, we haven't gone into the hard bit. We haven't, which is, uh, there's going to be, because let's see, we got the escort one. Then we also got the, um, Simon says and then the last one that we have is going to be an escort one which is the most pain out of all of them because you're going to require a lot and I mean a lot of shield blast so we're going to come up here look through the book again see what we got 119 so 911 but backwards Um, but right now we're about halfway, I'm going to say maybe about 60% done. So that is definitely a good sign on my end. Let's just go ahead and, um, see what we got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that works. Now what? So now that we got that done, um, oh, I'm running low on ammo right now. And there's also a good rule of thumb to try to pack a punch your um your mammagat. It will save you a lot of time. So the next orb location can be right here, but it's not. So we're not gonna worry about that. So we're gonna head up to spawn and see what's next. And I don't feel like taking the um, fast travel because I want to. I, I want to kind of save up as much points as I can, so that way I can, you know, get my um, get my last perk. And it is the. It is the, I want to say the most painting, yeah, it's the most painful one. So for this, yeah, yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think this is the escort one. Let's see, let's double check, let's double check. Yep, wait, is it? No, it's not. So I want to say it's Simon Says, I want to say it. I thought it was, but it's not. So... For this next challenge, you want to keep one zombie with you, and then if you go to um, if you go to Google again and just type up uh, Simon Says symbols, it has like a whole bunch of symbols. There's a whole bunch of symbols that you can find. It's going to be showing you like on the left hand side. It's going to show you. Um, hold on. On the left side is going to show you numbers, and then on the right is going to show you letters. Now, having that cheat sheet does wonders. Wonders if you like have a difficulty memory, uh, difficult with memory, you can either do it that way, which I used to do all the time, or you can take a picture of your phone, you can draw it out, keep that on standby, or if you have really good memory, you don't even have to need any of that. So you have to be downstairs for the docks on this. Well, at least um, in that second power room. Now, there are six generators that's gonna be blinking on and off that has symbols on them. Keep in mind, 
that um, you can't leave the room at all whatsoever and you have to kind of memorize these generators. Because again, Simon says, now how I like to do it, I like to give these generators names. So that way I can keep repeating them to myself over and over so I don't have to worry about it later. So this one I like to call next. This one I like to call right and you can kind of see the symbols on it. This one I like to call behind. This one I like to call door because it's right close to the door. I'm gonna freeze this guy right here. This one I like to call middle because there's that generator but that doesn't come on. This one I like to call front and then that's pretty much all of it. So once you get yourself memorized and familiar with the room, hold square here and now the generator is going to be blinking on and off. So middle. Bop. Front. Front middle. So front. Now some zombies will come in. Feel free to kill them. Middle. Middle next. Middle next. Middle next door. So middle. All the way to the next. And then door. Middle. Middle front, middle front, middle front back behind, middle front behind, middle front behind, middle, middle front behind, middle. So middle front behind, middle front. Uh, front door, front door, front door behind, front door behind, front door behind next, front door behind next, front door behind double next. So front door behind next. Next, now three gens is going to come on. These three have these memorized because there's going to be a fourth one that's going to be blinking on and off, like that one over there. That fourth one that was blinking on and on is designed to trick you. Don't pay attention to that. Pick up your punch card and you want to pay close attention to these symbols. So if you have that cheat sheet out, this is where that comes in. So that one is a three. This one is a four, and then the last one is a five. So three, four, five. So now that we got those generators memorized, let's go ahead and uh, trade out the old generators, generator codes for new ones. Hold on, let me just double check my work. Cause um, this part, it does take, like I said, it does take a little bit of memorization and you really don't want to mess up on this. So, yep, that's three, five, four. Yep, three, five, four. So now that we got that done, we can go ahead to all the way to spawn, trade out our old symbols for new ones. Now, there will be some zombies that is going to spawn in. You can actually use those to your advantage and try to get some shield blast. And I'm still a little bit mad that I went down. I feel like I'm, I feel like you guys are not gonna let me live that down. I won't even let me live that down. But for what it's worth, this Mark II looking beautiful in my hands right now. So I'm just gonna take the shortcut all the way to spawn, cause my first perk I can easily get that no problem. So far, I have not thrown up. So far! Hmm. Alright. So now that we're here, is here, let's go Ready ahead and shoot. this little area, um, right where, where spawn is, is right in here. That punch card that you pick up at the hold square, oh, interaction, this TV, 
old symbols gonna be coming on the TVs. So the generators that you have marked down and memorized your head, just hit it once and a new one is gonna spawn in. So like that one, we got that one, no. This one, no. This one, yes. And then the last one, no. This one, yes. So now we got C, B, C, B, um, C, B, D. Wait, hold on. B, D, yeah, B, D, C. Yep. So now, oh crap. On, I'm not gonna have them kill me again. Back up. Back up, woodland creatures. Fury, my dear there are many more hell pigs for you to mutilate. Nope. Uh -uh. Clearly, you're all very upset. I understand. Alright, I got two shield blasts. Some more shield blast. Shield key is ready. Good of you. So now, uh, I'm gonna freeze this guy up right here. Let's get this perk. So, these gens have symbols on them. So there's A, there's B, there is C, D, E, and F. Right there. So, so the best way to do this is um, let me freeze him up. Now, you see that spirit. So the moment he moves away, shock him, just like that. And then he's gonna go to the next one, shock that one. And he's gonna pull out that right one. And now he has to loop back over to do this one over here. So let's go ahead and let's see um, what we got. It's gonna take some. It's gonna take him some time. Let me freeze him up again. So there he's there he's pulling on it. We're trying to. Last one. He's gonna pull that one down. And there you go. Pick up that. Now we can move on to the next challenge. So now we literally got two more challenges left and then we'll be done. We will be definitely done with this before round 20. That much I do know for certain. Um so it might either be that pain in the butt one we have to like literally use a lot of spirit blast or it's going to be an escort one which i deem to be Nicola, really fun ammo very soon now in fact so let's see what we got now if there is a fire cell honestly if you want to take that risk and went down the way i did then go ahead but personally don't risk it again because i can only die two more times and then that's it well, I think one. But either way, I'd rather not take that gamble, let alone that chance. Here's the book. Hold square or interact. 554. Five, Let's go ahead and see what the next challenge is going to be. But the good news is, is that we're about 70% done. We just need to kind of grind and kind of get it out of the way okay let's head on down shock that 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Looks good. I like. Now, I'm hoping the next round is a dog round. I'm hoping because if it is, I can definitely try to give me some spirit blast. Well, it also depends on what the next challenge is going to be. If it's that escort one, then it's going to make my job a lot easier. Yep, it is the escort. So, so for this challenge that's coming up, there is one thing that I highly recommend that you do. Is have your Winter's Whale on standby. You really need that. I can't stress that enough. And also another thing you want to keep in mind is you want to have um, you want um, you want to have like a full shield. When you want to have like a full shield and a couple escape. of uh, a couple of a handful it's of zombies with you. That's kind of the reason why I, I wanted that water. What do you do? What do you want from Nikolai? So. We're gonna get a handful of zombies here. Take that risk again. All right. So I'm not sure how much shield blast I've picked up, but it's pretty. It's a pretty good amount. Shock this right here. And now, as I said before, you want to try to you want to try to get as much shield blast as you possibly can. Like you want a lot. So. There are two ways you can do this. Either A, you can do what I'm doing and just kind of keep a handful of zombies with you. So that way, uh, oh, hold up. You want to kind of have like a, yep, there's a good decent amount. Alright, um, so you want to kill and keep about... Alright, I got about a, I got about a good decent amount. So, there are two ways you can do this. As I said before, you can either A, you can either A, um, have a handful of zombies. B, if you're doing this multiple people, make sure everybody has a full shield, but have two zombies alive. So that way one person can work on this part, but the other person plays babysitter. So one can, um, cause you're gonna need to kill a zombie for this. You're gonna need to. So you have to come in this little area, get one kill in here, kill him, pull out your shield, spirit blast him, and now you want to kind of key the zombie or key the spirit as much as you can. And this is why having Winter's Well is really good for this. So once he disappears, shock him again, like that. Keep going. Keep going. You're gonna notice he's getting redder and redder. That's what you want. Slow down, comrade. What do you plan to do with Shark? Alright, he's in the game. Stick into Nikolai's ribs, I hope. Once he's fully red like that, you don't have to worry about him anymore.
Okay, once he's fully red like that, you don't have to worry about him anymore. And I kind of lost him, but it's okay. Ah, here he is. So he's going to be making his way all the way over towards spawn to kill a ghost that kind of awaits inside. You want to prevent that. So he's, so he's going to be taking his sweet time to get over there. Again, ammo is low. Such greedy weapon. No, I'm gonna get rid of you. Just trying to get on my nerves. Um. Yeah, this part was literally the pain, the most pain, pain in the butt to do. But um, luckily, it didn't require that much for me. Luckily, it didn't. Now, if you're doing this with multiple people. Of course, this challenge is going to be a little bit more difficult because if I'm not mistaken, it takes about five to six spirit blasts in total to get him red. Now, if you're doing this by yourself or doing it with people, Undead Man Walking is good for this. It really is. But, well, yeah, it, it's really good for this. So, keep that in mind. Now, you can either use Undead Man Walking have one person babysit the last zombie while you go out here and worry about that. And then so when you run out of spirit blast, you can actually trade out with the other person. So that way they can uh, use all their shields to get out of the way. Activate the trap. He's going to kill him. Just like that. So now that we got that done, there's going to be one more challenge that we need to do, which is going to be an escort one. Now, this I do highly recommend yes. you use monkey bombs. I highly recommend that. Don't like, I kid you not. But if you like a challenge and if you don't want to use monkey bombs, that is entirely up to you. It just depends on what type of player you are. So here's that orb. Let's pick this up. And now we can go ahead and do the last bit. In which I have a pretty strong idea. Yep. And then the last orb is literally going to be near the warden's house. Now I'm hoping that a fire cell does pop out. So that way I can give me a third gun. Even though it's going to be pretty useless. But still. Hmm. Do I want to hit the box? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I might hit the box a couple more times. Just because I can. So, like, literally, we're almost done with this Easter egg here. Even though I did apologize earlier, and I will apologize as much as I need to. Sorry again for the reason why I'm so slow with this, or, you know, taking a long time. I'm trying to work at, well, I'm trying to do this, like, as quickly as I possibly can. Pull out your shield. Look at the shield window. 685. 685 is the next one. Now, one other thing, though, is, is that I am trying to, like, teach as I go along with this. So, of course, it's going to take me a little bit longer. Because, again, someone asked me to kind of do this type of thing. A couple people. So, I'm going to head all the way downstairs. I put it put in the inputs for the numbers and we'll go on from there there it is one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five okay Boom. that works now what? got that done now we can go ahead um, and start on the next thing but since I don't have a shield on mini shield blast right now I have to end around unfortunately which I think I have a strong feeling it's going to be a dog round. I have a strong feeling. A uh, little dainty, maybe. We see how it goes. If I am unhappy, oh. you will know. This one makes nice sound. Like nest of angry bees. I see. Nope, I have no shield blast. So I think this is a dog round. I think. Hopefully it is, because I haven't seen any dogs in a hot minute. Nope, no dogs. Okay, that's fine. Five, 
Nope. Oh, excuse me. No, I'm gonna try to get that. I'm gonna try to get that monkey bounce my damn self. Cause, like I said, I really do want that monkey bounce. I cannot stress this enough. Okay, okay. I know I should save ammo, but I cannot help myself. Okay, German. Let us see what your spikes will do. Nope, I'm not trying that. Nikolai is handsome man. Would you not treat him like he's a thief? Light machine gun. Nice and manly, bad. Or womanly, depend on perspective. Nah, I have seen bigger machine gun, but he's fine. I'm not complaining. I never complain. Yep, I took too much of a risk. Don't do what I did. Do not do what I did. Because trust me, you're, you're going to get yourself killed. So my apologies on that. I just got greedy. Because this next part, as I said before, I do want monkey bombs for this. But you know, at this point, I don't, I don't freaking care for it anymore. So you want to kind of come in this room and you want to kind of get one zombie kill in here. It doesn't matter. How you do it, just gotta do it. Let's get enough kills. Alright, um, you're gonna notice a spirit is gonna kinda like moving up and down, I think. Wait, no. Hold up. I forgot to shock the uh the portal. Got the shocker portal. My apologies, everybody. So, let's see. Is the portal still there? It should be. Yep, it's still there. So, let's go ahead, activate this portal, and then we can move on. Pop that. And now we gotta get one kill. Luckily, I saved out about two zombies. Luckily. So, sorry about that, but make sure you shot the uh, portal first, and then get the kill in here. Hello, and now, we want to protect that spirit. If you have monkey bombs, right use them. Come with us. Nikolai, but, right now, you want to kind of protect the spirit by any means necessary. Why? Because uh, the more damage it takes, the redder it gets, and you want to kind of avoid that. So this is why uh, this is where using the Mamagat comes into play. It does kind of it does wonders. How ready, redder, redder he's getting. You want to really protect this spirit. He's gonna go inside that portal. Pick up that. Denied food, but so terrible. Now spirit serves this machine. So now that we got that done, we can go ahead and um, end this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like get as much spirit glass as I possibly can. Just kind of get these out of the way. All right. So now that we got all of that done, we can go ahead and uh, activate the Easter egg. Um, well, finish up with the boss fight here. 
But first, you want to make sure that all your guns is packed. This gun, I kid you not, I am not going to use that at all whatsoever. So, there's that. How many shield blasts do I have? Yep, I have about three, so that that's going to be quite enough for the boss fight. It's going to be quite enough. So... <clears throat> so, uh, like, like I said before... Pack punch as much as you can. pack punch ain't up here, so I'm definitely not gonna worry about that. I want to say pack a punch may be downstairs, might be, I don't know. And I'm gonna ignore this dog because it literally serves no purpose for me right now. Um, let's see. And you know what? I'm gonna hit the box from down here while I'm at it. To see if I can get monkey bombs. Even though it's kind of pointless right now at this point. It really is pointless. But just 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 because I like having it. But then again, you really don't need it for the boss fight, like at all. You really don't. So let's see where Pack a Punch is. Nope, it's literally at spawn, so you know what? I'm not even gonna bother going all the way to spawn. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna just pack a punch while I'm at spawn. Because again. Lightweight. Hmm. It's supposed to be featured, but sounds so dangerous. Nikolai looks good with assault rifle. Could be Soviet calendar model. Just because I'm an ass. Well. Is this gun or crappy maker of noise? Eh, I really don't need that. So I really shouldn't care. Oh wait, I have to go to spawn anyway. So after you get all your five orbs from um, Alcatraz, what you get all what you get all your five orbs what you have to do is you have to place all those orbs on those map on the map and then you can definitely get up out of here save your fury my dear thunder weapon there are many more hell pigs for you to mutilate yep I better head over to spawn yep screw it I miss sewer pipes So now, all we gotta do next is is um. Trip is over already. I am barely toasted. Nope, box ain't there, but I'm not gonna care for it. So now we're gonna head in here inside this room, place all those orbs down right here. Was it all there? Like so. Now we can go ahead and not debate the boss. Nope. There's a nuke, but I don't want it. I kill enough hell pigs to open butcher shop. Oh, no way. Sadly, meat is spoiled. All right. Um, let's see if pack of punches here. Please tell me it's here. I do not want to. I don't want to. Yep, it's not. It's not even here. Face my lightning, hell pigs. Hmm. <laughs> I have seen bigger machine gun, but it's fine. I'm not concerned. I never complain. I'm almost done. Don't worry. I'm just kind of messing around with this box real quick. Still be persuasive. Not All right. Assault rifle, not a sniper. An ass hyper. Uh, snipe salt. Uh, a snipe salt. Let them hit me real quick. Just because I can. This okay, mm. but still waiting for real magic to come out of magic box. All right, I got one more hit. Yep, don't many care for it bullets, anymore. Many many health bar. Math checks out. Yep, I really don't. Yeah, I really don't care for that box anymore at this point. Even though I shouldn't have, but you know. So now that we got that done. Um, the big two guns that you really need, as I said before earlier, is you're going to need a ray gun Mark One or Mark Two. I am recommend tired it. of flying through Hole of Hell. Um, let's see where Pack a Punch is, because you do want to pack a punch oh, at least once I was before you go into the boss fight. Let's head all the way up. 
hopefully it's up here. Cause I do, I, I do not feel like going all the way down to spawn one to to the docks. I really don't want to. Thank God it's up here. It's one disaster after another. Are we saving right. world or cleaning up after recovery? So now they, now that we got everything that we want and or need, we can definitely go inside the boss fight now. Now, if you have monkey bombs, this this will be your lucky break. But if not, then you you can still do this map, or you can still beat it, no problem at all. It's Who's just going to be. Uh, from my misery. Tell me. It's just going to be a pain to do. So now, like literally, what you can do is, is um, after you get this part, you can basically just chill for a little bit because it's going to be a whole bunch of dialogue, in which I will pause momentarily. So you want to hold square right here. There. Summoning key is in place. What, uh, All you gotta do what happens to is just kind of chill for a little other bit. Dempsey, other Takio. Are they trapped like ghosts and make sure class? everyone is here as well. And that's it. You will suffer. You will not die. All right, he's almost Lord, done talking, so we can definitely, definitely finish this thing once and for all. We definitely can. Moy, I hate being right. Richtofen will lead to disaster. Should have listened to myself. All right, we're almost out. All right, um, so like, uh, whoopsie, whoopsie. Sorry, that's my phone. This bird is going to come in about a couple seconds. Um, now, you do want to make sure that um, you have your shield ready to go. So, 
gonna break out, hold square at this, uh, pick up that bag, and you have all of your guns back. But, get rid of him, let's keep going. Now one thing I highly recommend you do is like, uh, when you go into this part, if you don't have enough shields, pull out your shield and try to get as much uh, shield blast as you can when you go into the boss fight. But since we have um, since we have a good amount of shield blast, you only need about two. But if you have more, then you should be in, you should be in good good shape. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Follow the bird. Follow the bird. Do like ignore everything else. And there he is. Goodbye. Here's that last ore. Pick that up. Looks like they and now we have to hold square but right here. This is not over yet. That's going to come down. Now this door another is going to be open. Freezer, now freezer. if you're doing this with multiple people, you got to make sure that all of these lights are lit up. But in my game, that's the only one light. And now this is where it begins. So for now, just go Rambo and kill everything until he starts speaking gibberish. At least that's what I like to call it. There's going to be a whole bunch of brooders. There's going to be a whole bunch of uh, zombies and dogs. So if anything, they just get rid of them. This is why I like using the Madman Gat because it definitely works like Monkey Bounce and it kind of keeps the uh, zombies off my back. Now for the Ray Gun Mark 2 or for the Ray Gun Mark 1 or even for the uh, even with the Helium if you want to kind of be explosive with it. That's where this is going to come in. Alright, so when that comes in, you want to go to where he is, you have to shoot these bubbles, pull out your shield, shield blast the top of the machine, just like that. You don't want to get in that red smoke because that will instantly down you. Pick up your max ammo, comforter, same thing, rinse and repeat. So let's go ahead, let's keep going. And now you definitely want to make sure that your shield does not get break broken. Because if you're because if you're here without a shield, you're pretty much screwed. Let's keep going. And I can't believe I missed that, but okay. And also avoid those traps over there if you can. Almost 
up already? This gun eats like my babushka. All right, I'm out of bullets for that, but no problem. Same thing. Ready to repeat. He's over here. Pop. 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 Shield blast. Boom. Now, if you're doing this, if you're not rich hopping, one is going to spawn in for you. But... If you are right. doing this with multiple, uh, I but if you are with something, you have to step inside you that machine. Mein blood. Take mein blood. He jumped inside. So have now we just gotta wait for Rich to come out. Come out. And of course, if you are Rich Hoffman, you have to, you know, kind of come up here and join the party. So right now, we literally, like, our bullets is not gonna do nothing to this boss right now. We just kind of have to hold down the line until Rich Hoffman gets here. Open up that little gate. He's gonna come up, and now you can kill the warden. And that's it. So sorry if it wasn't to your expectation that I was not going to go down at all, but I kind of got greedy. So that's on me. And sorry again if I made this Easter egg a little too long, more than I should have, but. That's pretty much how you do it. So as long as you have your shields up, right? As long as you have the map again and a really good gun that you're comfortable with, you can easily do this Easter egg in your sleep. So until next time.